While the CDC outlined how it plans to handle the Zika virus, you may have missed the baby monitor for the rich and the NASA test on how quickly fire spreads. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where a European Space Agency astronaut wanted to show you the weird effect spinning has on the body in space, because unlike Earth, he barely even felt this. Yeah, that's really fast. Is that, does that look fast on the yeah. outside? Show off. Keeping the space experiments coming, NASA just wants to see space stations burn. This makes me want to burn this mother down or at least station modules. See, NASA isn't really sure how fire behaves in space, especially large ones, like the kind that could potentially break out aboard the International Space Station. No one wants to see that. That's why the agency created a firebox for the first test, then put it inside a ship returning to Earth from the ISS and set something in the box on fire hours after it had left. In spacecraft, we've never had the opportunity to burn anything larger than approximately an index card. So we really don't know what the fate of a fire is. That was this week, and they'll be setting fires at least another two times to carefully study what happens. Fire, fire. <laughs> If you have money you've stopped short of actually burning, maybe I can interest you in this baby monitor. The Nanit is designed for nighttime and is a sleep tracker with night vision camera and motion sensor installed over your baby's crib to catch any movement. Your smartphone will ping with any action so you don't have to suffer actually having to listen for noises. The base model is $349, but it'll be more like $460 for the video history option, and that's before it gets out of pre-order and then gets more expensive. The rest of you poor bastards can get a regular night vision monitor from Babies R Us for $150. Bucks. Please, sir, I want some more. People are idiots. Yes. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. The first mammal to go extinct from climate change is confirmed as the Bramble K. Melamy. SpaceX missed another landing. A total of eight women have now accused tour developer Jacob Applebaum of sexual assault. Spam King Sanford Wallace has been sentenced to 2.5 years in prison. And Mark Zuckerberg announced on Facebook Live, I am not a lizard person. Which is exactly what a lizard person would say.